Welcome back to another session of Power Director Made Simple. Everybody likes to get something for free. So today I'm going to show you how to obtain lots of free resource material for your copy of Power Director. I was recently comparing the preferences menu for the newer versions of Power Director with an older version 21. And I noticed that one entire page had been deleted from the new version. It was the Director Zone Preferences page that was removed, and it had been part of Power Director for years, but with the introduction of the 365 versions, this page was removed in its entirety. For those that don't know, the Director Zone was a free web service that was provided by CyberLink, where you could download title templates, particles, custom DVD menus, static and animated picture-in-picture -picture objects, and transitions. Nearly all content there was created and uploaded by other PowerDirector users, and you were encouraged to also showcase your own techniques and creations. Notice I said was a web service. Technically, it is still there, but it has lost a lot of its popularity as users found search engines on the internet a more convenient manner of obtaining certain types of video content or resources. Some of you may recall that under the older versions, if you were looking for a particular type of title or picture in picture or particle, there was a download option in the Power Director menu, which when clicked would take you directly to the Director Zone web page. Now those links from within Power Director were all removed several versions ago and replaced with something called Download Content from Cyberlink Cloud slash Director Zone. Now, I have found none of these menus to be understandable and the whole cloud thing is probably totally useless. Instead, I'm going to show you two methods that you can use of getting directly to the Director Zone on your own. We'll start with the one and only link that still remains in the program, but it's a lengthy roundabout way of getting there. It only occurs if the media menu at the top has been selected, and then my media must be chosen along the left side. Then you must click on file at the very top, and then select import. Then select Download Sound Effects from Director Zone. If you haven't gotten lost or fallen asleep by now, you are then directed to a special sound page of the Director Zone. I know of no other link in the program that will take you to any part of the Director Zone web interface. My account on Director Zone has been set to immediately log me in. If you have never been to the Director Zone before, you will probably see a web page asking you to create an account, or if you have already established an account, you need to sign in before you can actually download any material. Now, once you are signed in, you should see something like the following web page. There are thousands of various sounds that you can download from here. Now, some are much better or more realistic than others, so don't think that you are getting some great values for all for free. On the sound page in Director Zone, the various sounds are sorted by styles, such as environmental sounds. While it initially looks like there are only five sounds listed under the environmental sounds style, there are actually a lot more. Just click on the thumbnail for environmental sounds and 10 sample sounds are shown. But at the top, it also indicates that there are a total of 947 sound clips in this style alone. Scroll down and you'll see that there are a total of 95 pages, each holding up to 10 sound samples. Now, if I'm interested in the very first sound called Rainy Day, I can hit play to listen to it. I can then click on download and within seconds the download is complete. 
I'll open the download folder and the recently downloaded file is highlighted, but it has a long numerical name ending in .dzs, which stands for Director Zone Sound. I'm going to keep things simple by changing the name of the file to rainyday.dzs. I like to archive all of the downloaded Director Zone stuff on my hard drive so that if for some reason in the future Cyberlink were to discontinue the Director Zone, I still have all of the templates available for me that I downloaded. Or if I ever need to completely reinstall PowerDirector on a new computer, all the Director Zone templates are readily available from my own hard drive and I don't have to bother trying to find them on hundreds of pages at Director Zone. I'm going to right click on the rainy day file and select Open With. And then I'll choose to use Cyberlink's Effect Extractor and select Always. The file is then extracted and installed into PowerDirector and I get a message indicating that it is ready to use. Back in PowerDirector, let's see if we can find where those sounds are located so that I might be able to use them. I'll click on My Media and then Downloads. And usually the most recently added file will appear at the end of any other downloaded files. Once I locate the rainy day file, I can drag it to the timeline for any other editing that I want to perform. Let's take another look back on the Director's Own web page. If you look just above the various sounds on the web page, you see the other main categories, picture-in-picture -picture objects, particles, titles, video collage, transitions, and DVD menus. Notice that there is no category for sound at the top, yet we are looking at a page for sounds. Now, I can't explain why Cyberlink doesn't have a clickable category for sound like the other templates. The sound category can only be reached by using the link from within the program. Yet the program doesn't allow you to reach any of the other categories. Only the rocket scientists at Cyberlink know why they designed it this way. If you wanted to view resources other than sounds, then just click on any of the other main categories at the top. Once you are in the director zone, you can jump around to any category that you want. You are not restricted to just the sound files. Now, in the next video, we'll cover in detail some of the other types of resources available in the director zone. But getting there by using the only link still within the program that we just used is lengthy and cumbersome. Instead, I'll show you the other method of getting right into the director zone, which you'll find to be much easier and quicker. In the meantime, go ahead and explore the various sound effects and download any that you find interesting. And now from Hollywood, Pet Milk presents The Spike Jones Show! <laughs> To start our music depreciation review, we present the evolution of music. In the year 8000 BC, music sounded something like this. In 1789, along came Mozart, and music sounded like this. Along came W.C. Handy, and jazz was born. In 1935, the musical world was rocked by Benny Goodman, the king of swing. And then in 1941, along came Spike Jones. <laughs> The man who set music back 10,000 years, Spike Jones.
<laughs> Thank you very, very much, music lovers. It's really a, uh, really a great thrill to be back on All Star Review, and we sincerely hope that you enjoy the intimate little musicale that we have prepared for you. Oh, uh, right uh, now, we'd like uh, to do excuse one of me, our... excuse me, pardon me, uh, uh, Mr. Jones. Yes. Uh, my name is Jim Backus, and I am vice president in charge of public relations of the Victor Recording or, or Talking Machine Company. You know, uh, with oh, the dog. I'm, yes. I'm very happy to know you. Uh, yes. Well, well, naturally, but I have been. Uh, <laughs> I have been asked by members of the Boston <laughs> Symphony Orchestra to present you with this award in appreciation for what you have done for music. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, yes, well, we feel, and we feel that... Do I get it? We feel that this is an instrument especially designed for your musical talent. <laughs> Well, I'm overwhelmed. I really am. Yes. I'm, I'm touched. Yes, yes, I, I know that you're touched. But, uh, <laughs> but as the fellas down at the Plan and Camden are, are fond of saying, uh -huh. Spike, use it. Use it, boy, in the best of health. You mean I can really have it? You can uh, have it. I can, now, I can have it? So yes. you're going to give it to me? Yes. Well, this is really. Uh... <laughs> We at the plant know that you'll get a bang out of it. <laughs> you get a bang out of it? Is that great material? I should have my own show, you know. <laughs> I know you shouldn't be on this one. This is, um, this is one gun that I wish the Russians would invent. <clears throat> See, I wouldn't... Uh... We are working on it. <laughs> Here, maybe this will help. Oh. <laughs> Mike, now, listen, take this for what it's worth, boy, but yeah, uh, yeah. never trust a man with a mustache and who wears those crazy boots like that. <laughs> He'll do it every day. Well, back to the plant. Carry on. You're doing a smash job. All Carry right. on. Thank Carry you on. very much. Thank you.